Good day, Pinoy Clixers and Mixers. Welcome back to the channel. And you are cordially invited to the unboxing of Marvel X-Men Heroclix Hellfire Gala Premium Collection. Let's go! Okay, so we have here Marvel Hero Clicks Premium Collection Hellfire Gala and as you can see this is one beautiful product from WizKids as a huge X-Men fan this is everything I can dream of for a Hero Clicks product okay the packaging is so extravagant <laughs> I would say red and white so clean and you can see at the back, we have some information that we are cordially invited to the Marvel Hero Clicks Hellfire Gala Premium Collection to celebrate mutant culture with the, with the new X-Men Heroes of Krakoa based on the revolutionary Marvel Hellfire Gala event that charted some of the biggest stories in the Marvel Universe and introduce the all-new team of X-Men, the Marvel Heroclix Hellfire Gala Premium Collection, takes you to a tour of the grandest looks from the inaugural Hellfire Gala. See the pinnacle of mutants fashion represented on these limited edition figures that push the boundaries of Heroclix style. Every detail of the Hellfire Gala has been planned with the guests in mind, as a result, in this premium set, you will also find a limited edition version of the Powers and Abilities card as well as uniquely crafted character cards with a special look and feel that will bring the luxury of the Hellfire Gala to your table. Walk the green carpet with these exciting and, and exquisitely detailed figures that make as much of a fashion statement as the gala itself and this should contain... 8 premium quality pre-painted figures, 8 limited edition character cards, 1 PAC with limited edition design, and magnetized limited edition display box. This is the display box. Okay. So let's go ahead. I can't keep the excitement. The Hellfire Gala, of course one of the premier events in the comics it's where not just the new x-men team has been announced but also when they showcase the terraforming of mars or the araco araco what you call this residence so anyway Mm. Here we go. Box quality smooth and nice. Okay, it's magnetized. It's advertised. Okay. And then, boom. We have the figures here. So we have limited edition hero click set. Host Emma Frost invites you to celebrate mutant culture and to strengthen Krakoa's friendship with the nations of man. So, who's who in Marvel was invited in the gala, of course. So, we have Sunfire, Rogue, Sing, Cyclops, Emma Frost, Wolverine, Polaris, and Jean Grey as the new X-Men team. And we can see them here. Wow, red texture is a bit velvety, okay. and we can see them, all eight figures. Let's take them out, Sunfire, wow. That flame effect. Rogue. 
Southern Girl, Aura. We have Sink. With that jacket. We have the Blue Boy Scout, Cyclops. We have Jean Grey, the Queen. <laughs> Take a look at that face. We have Polaris, the Mistress of Magnetism. We have Wolverine, X-23. And the host, of course, Emma Frost. Okay, let's see what else is in the Hellfire Gala. Let's put it up here. We have the character cards and the PACs. Okay, Helfer Gala Powers and Abilities card. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. The golden rules, silver rules are also here. Okay. So this is a bit outdated because we already have the 2023 PACs, but nonetheless, that style will never go out of date. And then finally, we have our character cards. Okay, longer than your typical character cards. It's unfolded. Okay, so don't fold it back, guys. <laughs> You're gonna ruin the design. So we have here Polaris. Okay. So they all have a Hellfire Gala trait, shared trait. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the X-Men keyword attacks and the attack roll includes exactly one five, you may replace the other die with a five. So it's like a dice replacement board-wise. Board-wide, rather. And each of them would have a unique high fashion uh, trait. Like Polaris have the translucent silicone dress high fashion trait. That when a friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 five five was rolled, after resolutions, choose a character within reach and place that character up to two squares away from the square they currently occupy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Polaris also has a special attack power, magnetized, telekinesis, telekinesis as free. When Polaris use it, she may instead target an opposing character. She hit this turn. So double TK is always good. Okay, so Sandfire. Have the high fashion Uncle Lent Fury Haori. When a friendly character with the X-Men hits with a 5-5, five five, after resolutions, choose a character with the X-Men keyword. Within range and line of fire and deal 1 damage to each opposing character adjacent to the chosen character. So it's like a poison after an attack. Energy explosion. Sandfire and adjacent friendly characters with the X-Men keyword can use poison. Ooh. Okay. So Sink has the rainbow jacket with all black suit and fedora high fashion that when a friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits and 5-5 was rolled, 
After resolutions, choose a standard power, a friendly character with the X-Men keyword, has on your card, and sync and use the chosen power until the end of your next turn. A special damage that would be perplex when sync uses it to target a friendly character. If that character has a high fashion trait, the next time the character hits this turn, they can use their high fashion trait regardless of the attack result. Wow. That's interesting. Emma Frost has the Fascinator and Diamond Buckle high fashion. Okay, that after 5-5, five five, the character choose a friendly character with X-Men that gains Safeguard Outwit until your next turn. And a special damage, probability control, shape change. Attack rolls of 5 made by characters with the X-Men keyword can be re-rolled or have their dice replaced. So it's locked. 5-5. Five, five. Jean Grey has the telekinetic floating X headpiece. Okay, so she's actually controlling it. Floating it on her head. So when a friendly character... Hits with a 5-5. Five five. After resolutions, give an action token to each hit character. Like an in-cap bonus. And he has mind control. A special movement. When Jingri uses it, after resolutions, deal a hit character damage equal to its printed damage value. Okay. And a telepathic warning, special defense, and energy shield super senses. Cyclops have no cuffs on jacket and sleeves that turn into gloves. <laughs> oh, on 5-5 five five rolls, after resolutions, friendly characters with X-Men. Keyword, uh, choose one to remove an action token. And a special defense, energy shield. When a friendly character with the X-Men keyword is targeted by a ranged attack, modify their defense plus one. That's good. Like a shared mini energy shield deflection for rogue uh semi sheer lace bodysuit with a floral pattern okay the one floral pattern at the uh, sleeves and belly button belly part rather when a friendly character with the x-men rolls fives after resolution choose a standard power and until your next turn hit characters can't use this chosen power okay invincible friendly characters with x-men keyword within six squares and line of fire can use toughness and finally we have wolverine tie high leather boots and black leather opera gloves so opera gloves with two holes i guess for the claws <laughs> When a friendly character with X-Men rolls fives, after resolutions, heal that character two clicks. And a special attack power, blades close fast, but may you use it when targeting more than one character. She must roll D6 for each hit target. And when Wolverine hits, after resolutions, heal her one click for each opposing character that took damage from that attack. Okay. So very elegant. I love it. I know there's been a second Hellfire Gala in the comics. So I hope WizKids release a second premium collection showcasing the second X-Men team. I'm all for it. Annual Gala, annual premium collection. So which one among these figures do you like the most? Share it in the, fi in the comments below. But for me, I would say, design-wise, Sandfire really took it for me. For the males, and for the females, of course, the Queen, Jean Grey. Bye-bye!